Hello guys and welcome to another mini tip tutorial with me. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to match the roots of this lady's hair to the dyed hair. So it's really simple. First thing I want to say though is do not try this on a platinum blonde model with black roots because it will not work. It has to be really subtle. So if you try that and it doesn't work, you can't blame me because I told you not to do it. Uh, that's a completely different tutorial for a later day. So the first thing you want to do is create a new layer and call it Roots or you can call it I'm happy and I love to retouch, it's really up to you. And then you're going to set the blending mode to soft light. After you've done that you're going to get a nice soft round brush and your opacity and your flow is completely up to you. I have no say in it, whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you feel that's working with the image that you're working with because obviously every image is different. So after you've done that you're going to select a colour within the good hair range that's dyed the eye pick at all and you're just going to slowly paint into the affected area and that's that's it well it's not it that's it for now <laughs> so try and do it as best you can try not to go over the original hair hair dye and take your time with it if you have time of course because not every retouching does but if you're a beginner and you're learning you should have plenty of time you just want to keep doing that until you fill in. If you are working around these areas, you want to lower your opacity or flow and just slightly do that because you do not want any harsh lines or contrast between the hair and the forehead. It will look stupid and it will look fake and I have seen it a million times and it really winds me up. <laughs> but let's not go off topic. So I'm just going to keep painting in. Painting in. Right. I think that's the best it's going to get for my little blonde lady for now. So, so far you should have something that looks like this. There's not much of a change, but it's what we need to do to get to the next step. So, once you've done that, you now need to lighten it. First of all, I want to say, if you're not very good at judging how much you want to lighten it to match the rest of the hair, go to a black and white adjustment layer and set it to colour. Now, this will help you and your eyes to see how much you need to lighten them. So, on root, the roots layer, we're going to hit Command U and we're going to go to the lightness slider and we can knock it up in 10s or 20s or 30s whatever you feel comfortable with until we feel we can see it's at the right level if you start to go over and the lightness is lighter here than it is here then you know you're going too far so you want to wind it down a bit I'm going to go with I think I'm going to go with 50. I feel 50 works for this particular image. Okay, but I'm going to quickly cancel that and turn that off. So let's do that again. Lightness and go to 50. You'll notice as you go higher up in the lightness, it starts to desaturate the hair. So what you want to do is click on your saturation layer and you want to slowly turn the volume. Volume? Is that the right word? The value <laughs> up on that until you feel you're happy with it and it matches the rest of the hair. See, that's way too strong. So we take it down. I'm happy to have it on about 50. So maybe they coincide with each other. If the hue is a little bit off and it's starting to look too red or too yellow, then you can just hit your hue layer and go up and down until you feel it matches and you're happy. I'm going to go up with my hue just by two. Once you're happy with that, have a little look. And once, yep, just push OK. So, so far this is what we we have. So it's looking much better, but we're not exactly complete. There's one little step that I would suggest. And right, once we've done that, you need to create a completely new layer and we're gonna call it tone or color, whatever you want to call it. And we're gonna set this blending mode to color. Now you're gonna get the surrounding colors of the hair that wasn't affected and around the edge, you're gonna slowly brush into the hair that you created basically and that's going to help blend the colors and make sure there's not so, some odd colors or weird transitions okay so I'm going to do that now this is going to be really subtle and you're not really going to see it but it's a step I would take when doing this so I think it was important to tell you guys sharing is caring also I would probably do a bit of dodge and burn which sounds strange. I will do a bit of dodge and burn a tiny bit if you guys know what that is to make sure there's no weird transitions and everything transitions as nicely as possible and that I'm happy with it. I'm not going to do that in that vi this video because that's not what it's about. 
You have to subscribe if you want to see other videos and dodge and burn. There's a bit of red in her hair that really annoys me. Let's get rid of that. And that's gone. This is optional. Obviously, you don't have to do this step, but I would advise it. See, her hair's a lot warmer here because of the highlight. I could take that into here, but I don't really want to. And I think I'm going to stop there. Right, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see? Hopefully, it's not too compressed and you can see that. But that is the, basically the final step. So we've gone from this to this. And it was really easy. And like I said, it, would, it will work on the most subtle of hair roots. You can do it on redheads also. Uh, dark browns with medium gold browny hairs. But do not do it on platinum with black roots please if you would like to learn that please leave a comment and i will create a video on that for you guys thanks for watching this video i hope it was helpful and i shall speak to you guys soon see you later